All right, guys, in this video, I'm just going to show you guys how to connect pretty much any retro gaming device or really any device to a pair of Bluetooth headphones, even if your TV or the device itself is in Bluetooth enabled. This is Steve from Nostalgia, and let's get started. All right, so welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, please consider going down below the video and subscribing as we are working our way towards 30,000 subscribers. It would be greatly appreciated. Now, the reason I'm putting this video together is because the number one question I get from a lot of people when we are talking about some of our classic consoles like the PlayStation Classic, the Super Nintendo Classic, the NES Classic, any of those mini consoles is how can you connect it to a pair of Bluetooth earphones? And there isn't really a good way to do it out of the box. So what I decided to do was actually put this video together showing you guys how to pretty much connect any device, including original hardware, to a set of Bluetooth earphones. Now, in order to do that, it's not actually very difficult. You are gonna need two devices though. First thing that you're going to need is obviously some sort of Bluetooth earphones or Bluetooth speakers if that's what you want to use. And then the second device we're going to need is what's known as a Bluetooth transmitter. And there are certain Bluetooth transmitters that are better than others. And the important thing to note here is when you are dealing with gaming, you want something that specifically is rated for low latency. So that's what I've got here. Now I am gonna show you exactly the devices that I'm using, just so that way you guys have an example. And these are actually pretty good quality devices. And I do recommend both if you're in the market to pick anything up. And the first thing that we're gonna talk about here is the earphones that I'm using. Now these are the Vankyo X200 Bluetooth earbuds. They are quite good. And I'm actually a big fan of these just because they do fit really well in your ears. These are the type of earphones that you could take out if you wanted to go for a jog or anything like that. That being said, they're all around good earphones, not just for listening to things, but they do have a built-in microphone and that actually is really handy too. So you can connect it up to your smartphone and you can use it that way. In terms of what you get in the box, it's actually fairly basic. You're gonna get the device itself and then you get a charging cable and some instruction manuals. We're not gonna spend very much time looking at it, but I do want to say that the actual case that you get is a very high quality case. It's made out of a very nice brushed aluminum. It actually has some magnets built into it so that way it feels nice and sturdy. It snaps close really nice. And additionally, it even has a small little LED screen on the front that's going to indicate to you your battery life for both your left and your right channel earphones. Generally speaking, the audio quality is quite good and it does fit very snugly in your ears. It has extra attachments to kind of fit different people's ear sizes. It's just overall a good quality product. And really the only other thing I'm gonna mention is the case itself isn't just a smart charging case. It does have a built-in battery. So if you've got it charged and you throw your earphones in there, it's gonna automatically charge the batteries on the actual earphone device. And the battery inside is 3,500 milliamp hours, which is fairly good, especially considering you're only charging these two little earphones. So in general, this is definitely a good earphone set if you're in the market for it. Now. Aside from the earphones that we've got, we do need to take a peek at the wireless transmitter, and that's gonna be something that's a little bit more important. As I said, this device needs to specifically be low latency if you're gonna be doing any sort of gaming. If you are listening to music or any of those sort of things, it's not quite as important, but when you're gaming, audio latency needs to be low, just like video and input latency needs to be low too. I like this device, although it is a little bit more higher end in terms of its price point. It retails for about $35 to $40 US. I think I paid around $50, $55 Canadian for it. So just keep in mind, you are looking at to the mid to higher end price point on these devices. You can go with a $20 or $25 or even cheaper um, Bluetooth transmitter, but those ones are going to have higher latency. So you're gonna end up with a little bit of an audio delay and it's not very nice. Now, in terms of the device itself, it has a pair button on the front, really nice and easy to get this thing set up. All you need to do is press and hold it and it'll enter into pairing mode. Another reason I like this device is because it is fairly versatile. It gives you a few different connection options depending on what type of TV you have. Now, most TVs have some sort of audio out, whether that's going to be a 3.5 millimeter audio out jack, or if it's gonna have composite out, or even some of the newer TVs have a digital audio out, and that's gonna give you obviously your best quality, but this device can connect into everything. So as you can see in the box, we're gonna have a few different cables. We've got a 3.5 to 3.5 millimeter. We're gonna also have a 3.5 to RCA jack. 
And the last cable that we get is digital audio, and that's obviously going to give us the highest quality as I just said. Now, we're gonna go ahead and switch over to the back of my monitor so you guys can see exactly what it is I'm working with and what it's gonna take for my application, but this is gonna be different depending on whatever TV you have. Now, as you can see, my TV has a bunch of different inputs. It's a computer monitor as well as a TV, but you're gonna notice on the far right hand side, right beside the coaxial cable port, we are going to have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. We're actually gonna use that. All we need to do is grab our 3.5 to 3.5 millimeter cable. We're gonna plug one end into that jack, and then the other end, we're actually gonna connect it into the Bluetooth transmitter. Other than that, we don't have to do anything else. We just need to make sure whatever device we want to use is connected in. Now, as I said, we can do this on the Sega Genesis Mini, on the PC Engine Mini, on the PlayStation Classic, on any of our retro consoles, but for this video, my focus is gonna be doing it on the original hardware of a Nintendo 64, just to show you guys that it does work properly that way. Okay, so now that we've got those cables all connected and we've got our console connected, we're more or less good to go. All we need to do is pair the Bluetooth transmitter to the Bluetooth earphones, and that's actually pretty simple. Depending on what kind of devices you are using, you're just gonna need to set everything up in pair mode. For this device, you just press and hold it. It'll start going into pairing mode, and then once it identifies any Bluetooth receiver that is looking for a signal, it'll automatically shake hands and pair, and you're good to go out of the box. Next, what's left to do, just turn on your console, and you're gonna be able to start listening right through your earphones. And I do gotta say, obviously, I can't really display the audio I'm listening to on the earphones, but it does 100% work. The audio quality is good, it's incredibly low latency, and there's not really any issues here. Now, my earphones have a volume control built into them, which is really nice. You just have to tap the left or right hand side, and the volume goes up and down. Additionally, you can control the audio right from the volume settings on your TV. And then again, on the actual device, it actually has an audio booster, so you can set it to standard, or if you want to boost that audio, there is a little switch that you can hit and that'll actually pump the audio up quite a bit on those base settings. But that's pretty much it. This is going to be the easiest way that you can connect any of your classic consoles or any of your retro consoles to a pair of Bluetooth earphones. As I mentioned, I'm going to leave purchase links for the devices that I specifically used in this video down below in the description. If you guys are interested in grabbing them, feel free to go down and uh, click on those links. Additionally, be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you found this helpful or a thumbs down if you didn't like it. Please consider subscribing to the channel, but that's more or less it. Thank you so very much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys again real soon.